These are what I call the connector questions. These three questions will change everything for you about networking if you keep them at the front of your consciousness. And those of you that have, have a hard time with this networking thing and you bought into this line of crap that you're not good at it, this is, your, this is now your new mantra, okay? Number one, how can I be a resource to you? I mean, I just want you to say it. Say it. And pretty soon you're going to start living it. You'll just be listening. By the way, listening is, I want you to do Stephen Covey kind of listening. That is listening, really listening. Don't do uh, the reloading thing, okay? Stephen Covey says listening's a lost art. Most of us are either talking or reloading, ready to fire back up with what you think is the better idea or what you think is the better question or your needs or your wants. So keep that gun holster, okay? Listen all the way through. Get those big ears on. So number one is how can I be a resource to you? If you come to events like this every time you leave your house, every time you're going to go anywhere, this should be your intention. How can I be a resource? You will know you, it's impossible to be a network user, okay? Because that's really how networking got a bad name. People committed what I call network drive-bys. They drive-by, buy out the request, suck the life out of the rest of us. And when you need them, they don't what? Return your phone call, right? So you're not going to do that. You can't do that with this question at the front of your mind. How can it be a resource to you? Number two, how could you be a resource to me? Two of the, I don't know if my two, uh, the two guys I talked to earlier from the career management firms, are they in here? No, no, they're not. <laughs> I'll take note of that. Uh, we, had a co we had a conversation out here at break, and we were talking about how uh, they, they coach people in networking to be more, you know, be specific to your network. I mean, let people know how they can be a resource to you. And I said, thank you, amen, absolutely. When people connect with me and they know that the work that I do, I, I, I hear about lots of jobs. I used to be in HR, I used to be a recruiter, so people call me often with jobs. And when people call and say, I'm looking for a job, you know anybody hiring? And what do you think my answer is? No. If you said, I'm looking for a job in healthcare, I've targeted these three or four healthcare organizations. Do you know anybody in those organizations that would be a good resource for me? Sit down, I got 30 names. See the difference? So being specific about how people could be a resource to you. And then number three, and this is a biggie, what are you willing to do to strengthen that relationship? What are you willing to do? Some of you just made connections. And what's going to happen as we go through the stages, we're going to take you through what you need to do between now and next week to make this connection really become significant. And it may not, you may be the one giving right now. And you may be the one that's going to go home and make it, do an email and make a few phone calls and get somebody connected. But you know what's so great about that is you never know. You never know when this is suddenly going to turn and this person's going to be.